Botox is a botulinum toxin. In large doses it can kill, but in small doses we know it can paralyze muscles. The cricothyroid muscle in the larynx is one of the principal muscles for pitch elevation. So when we do the injection into the cricothyroid muscle, you should start to notice a change in the pitch of your voice, hopefully to lower it because we've weakened the muscle that elevates your pitch. He is measuring the frequency range of the girl's voice in hertz. A woman's is between 165 and 255. An average man's lies between 80 to 180. A bat's is 300 to 5 kilohertz. So your average frequency is 194 hertz, which is well in the middle of the female range, yeah? A man was selling a miracle, telling me not to be so cynical. How was that? Oh, yeah. Is that uncomfortable? Yeah. <laughs> All right. It feels a bit funny in the back. Back of? Just in the back of my throat. It'll go in a few moments, okay? That's that then. Thank you. It's 48 hours after I had an injection of Botox into my cricothyroid muscle. Because my muscle is now paralyzed, the vocal cords gone. Titan, prohibiting the elevation of pitch. When he did it, it felt like someone was holding my throat from behind. And because he was poking the needle left and right, trying to detect which part to inject, it's like someone's caught like, mm. like you suddenly become conscious of all the but all, all the parts of your throat. <clears> they <throat> didn't tell me I was six. I was expecting. <laughs> I keep getting really dizzy. They didn't tell me that I was gonna be so weak, weakened by it. It feels like I'm putting in about 100 times more effort than normal to make this small sound. I felt like I've got what I asked for and more. <laughs> 